Looks like there's one slice left. Yeah, and you know what they say? Finders, keepers. We could split it. Split a single slice? What? Have you ever wondered how videos of this type are made? In today's video, I'll show you how, with the help of AI, you can create this type of video in minutes. We will generate scripts, images, voiceovers, and image animation, all using AI. Once we have everything ready, we'll put it all together using CapCut, a program that is incredibly easy to work with. All the links to the AI tools I use will be down in the description. Let's get started. The first step we'll begin with is creating the script for our characters. For this, we will use ChatGPT. Copy prompt one from the Google Doc file, which will be in the video description, and paste it into ChatGPT. The prompt is written for a conversation between one person and two others. Once you enter it into ChatGPT, you'll receive two scripts, one for a conversation with a single person and one for a conversation with two people. Once the script is ready, you'll notice that, in addition to the dialogue, there are also written emotions for the main characters, which will be very helpful later when creating the images. Additionally, the script's title will indicate the theme of the story, if you don't like it, you can always regenerate the script to create a new one. In my case, the title is The Last Slice. Now, copy the title you want and paste it into the chat. Then, go to Google Doc and copy Prompt 2. This prompt will define your characters by providing a detailed description of how they look, what emotions they express, their gender, their poses, etc. Once you do this, the chat will generate a detailed description of your characters. These descriptions will be key to creating our images. Now, let's organize everything to make it easier and cleaner. Copy the script and paste it into a new document. Do the same with the character descriptions, placing them in a separate document as well. Let's not waste time and keep going because the most interesting part is yet to come. The next step in creating our video is generating images. For this, we will use Prompt 3 from Google Doc. This will allow us to create separate images for each scene from our finished script while keeping the background white. The characters will be in Rico animation style and more. Now, in scene one of our script, which you have already copied into the new document, we see that we have two characters, figure A and figure B. Copy scene one and paste it into the chat GPT. Then, go to the other document where we described the characters. Since this scene involves both of them, we need to copy both character descriptions and paste them into the chat along with scene one. As you can see, ChatGPT has created three shots for scene one. Each shot has a title and an image prompt that we will use to generate the images. Below that, there is also an animation description which will help bring our characters to life. Pretty easy and interesting, right? Once you do this for scene one, repeat the process for all scenes. When you're done, the next step is creating the images. For this step, I will use Leonardo AI, but you can use any image generator you like. In my opinion, the best option is Midjourney, but it requires a $12 monthly subscription. Once inside, click on Image. Then, Flux Schnell. Set the image size to 9 by 16 and choose a dynamic style. Copy the first image prompt from scene one and paste it into Leonardo AI. Make sure there are no mistakes in the prompt and ensure that the character descriptions always include stick figure. Once everything is correct, click generate. As you can see, the results are truly impressive. Repeat the steps, but you don't necessarily have to generate an image for every single shot. However, if you want a longer and more dynamic video, you should create images for all the shots. 
always review the prompt for errors. Once you have generated images for all the scenes, download them to your computer because, in the next step, we will bring them to life. For this step, I will use a tool called Hilo AI. As I mentioned earlier, you can use any tool you prefer. In my opinion, this is one of the best options, but it has one significant drawback. With the free version, you can generate only two image animations before it becomes extremely slow. I tried using different emails, and it worked, but if you plan to create animated images professionally, I recommend getting the $10 monthly standard plan. This is just a suggestion. I don't earn commissions from any of the tools used in this video. All right, let's continue. Once inside, click Create on the left side of the screen. Then, upload the image from Scene 1 and copy the animation description from ChatGPT, ensuring you don't mix up the shots and scenes. Paste it below the image. Now, an important step. Go into Google Doc and copy the prompt for animations from the bottom of the document. This prompt prevents Halo AI from changing the background or adding new elements to the image, which is crucial for our animation. Then, select the 12V-01 Live model. This model is perfect for 2D images like ours. After that, click Create. Now, Halo AI will generate your animation. You can create up to three images at a time, but as I mentioned earlier, after the second one, it slows down significantly. You can try logging in from another email or purchasing a subscription. Once it's ready, you can see the result. As you can see, the animation is super cool. Repeat the process for all the images. Once everything is ready, we move on to the next step, creating voiceovers for our animations. For this, I will use Eleven Labs. This is probably the best tool because the voices don't sound robotic and there is a huge selection of voices to choose from. Once inside, click Studio on the left menu, then Start from Scratch. Go to ChatGPT, copy the entire script we generated, and paste it into Eleven Labs. Delete any unnecessary text and assign a different voice to each character. After that, download the audio files to your computer, and now let's edit the video. Now everything is ready, and there is one final step putting it all together. If you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. I will use CapCut for this. This program is incredibly easy to use and offers countless features. Import all the videos and voiceovers into CapCut. Then, drag them to the timeline. Align the videos and voiceovers so that they match perfectly. Once done, add the necessary effects, text, subtitles, transitions, and sound effects, whatever you need to match your style. When everything is ready, export the video and you're done. Looks like there's one slice left. Yeah, and you know what they say? Finders, keepers. We could split it. Split a single slice? What are we, savages? There's only one way to settle this. Agreed. I'll take my prize now. What if we give it to someone who needs it more? Fine. He doesn't even want it? We made a terrible mistake. Pretty cool, right? Creating animations like this would take an enormous amount of time if done by hand. With AI, you can do it in minutes. At first, it may seem difficult, but trust me, the more animations you create, the better you'll become until eventually, you'll be the king of animations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. See you soon!